Thanks for checking out this video. Today I want to show you how you can play more like Messi. Now when you're watching Messi, drinking for wispy, it's always with the outside of his foot, but it's these little quick touches. Okay, it's not big touches. The ball is stuck to his foot, it's like glue close to his body so he doesn't lose possession. So I'm going to practice dribbling with speed with lots of quick little touches. Okay, once you get the technique, try to go a little faster. And the first thing that you should start to do when you want to turn more effectively is I want you to get lower to the ground. Okay, so if I'm trying to turn up here, you're never going to have as good change of direction an acceleration after that change in direction, or as a nice touch of close enough control. So when you're training, try to get lower to the ground. Okay, I have more power in my legs. If I need to protect the ball from someone, I can do that as well. So every time we change your direction, I want you to think about getting lower to the ground. Okay, so Messi has a really nice inside cut, and also outside of the foot, see if practice as well. All these little cuts change directions. You watch them on the balls, just these little cuts, little cuts, little change of direction, which allows him to keep possession of the ball. Sometimes, especially if you're playing as a center forward, there's going to be stretches of time where you never seem to get the ball. So you can either blame this on your teammates or you can do something about it. Sometimes you'll see Messi, may, usually he's playing center forward, but especially on Barcelona, all these players have the freedom of position to interchange and go in different places. Okay, but if he feels that he's not getting the ball in here where he wants it, at his feet, he has no problem with coming and dropping into the midfield, picking the ball up here, and then making things happen. See if he, if he can combine with a player and join in like this. Okay, but what I'm getting at here is if you're staying in one position and the ball's not coming to you, say you're out here on the wing, and the ball's just never coming to you, do something about it. Creep inside here, try to pick up the ball as a midfielder, or make a more purposeful run into space. Try to get the ball in a dangerous position, but vary your runs. Don't stay in the same area of the field. Creep into different areas, switch up your runs, be unpredictable, go searching for the ball. Really want the ball, and you're going to get it. If you want to score more goals, I want you to take a lesson from Messi. Now just think about him when he picks that ball up on the wing. What does he do? Most times he's trying to come inside, get on that left foot, and get a shot off. Okay, so if you want to get more goals, you gotta start driving inside with purpose more often. Now that doesn't mean you always go inside. You must be comfortable going both directions so you're unpredictable. But when you can, and that opportunity is gonna be there all the time, cut inside and get that shot off. Imagine I'm coming down the wing, I'm meeting a defender in the middle, here I'm on that big change of direction. So remember we were talking about getting really low. Okay, if I try to change direction like this, Defender's probably going to stay with me. So try to sell him, try to even fake him one way, get low so you can push off here into space. Okay, when Messi gets in here, obviously he can strike it hard with his legs, he can let a rocket go, but a lot of times he chooses just to curl it with the inside of his foot or the inside of his big toe right here, putting lots of spin on it, getting it to go outside of the fire post and come back in at the last second. Okay, so making good contact, creating that spin like that take it to the back post. Now sometimes the shot isn't on. Sometimes the defender stays with him or there's multiple defenders in the way. So what does he do? He fakes that shot and he keeps going. He fakes that shot. Eventually he can get a shot off. Sometimes you see him he goes all the way across the box and it's like no one can make a tackle on him. He keeps dropping that shoulder. He keeps making that feint and defenders are trying to drive in, dive in. Eventually he gets his face. Talked about Messi dribbling in from the side, cutting in and curling that shot into the back corner or fake shot driving across the box and then just putting it in at the back post or blasting it on net. But another way that he scores goals is by combining with his center forward or other attackers very well. Okay, so a lot of times, especially Barcelona playing, you see them getting around the box and all they're looking for is to play this ball into a player here and then to get a receiving pass into space, okay? So when you're dribbling into these areas, 
can't always have your head down because there's going to be options and those usually are going to work out for you more. This guy's going to come and close the ball down. What you want to do is just play him, get a little wall pass, get that ball back so you can get a shot on goal. Okay, it's going to come in different variations, but the only way that you're going to be able to do that is if you're dribbling with your head up. If the shot's on, take it. If it's not on, you're going to play into a teammate and maybe he'll turn and take a shot or he's going to lay it off for you and you're going to come in and get that shot. But look for these little combinations around the box. Just these little tiny one-twos. The defender comes to close, you play, you pass, you move, you get it back, you get a shot on goal. Okay, but the only way that that's going to happen is if you start driving into the center with purpose, but you also have your head up looking for that passing option.